friends welcome to data pandit today we are going to talk about uh, publish component how publish component uh, we configure as part of content flow graph okay let's uh, talk about uh, a few uh, parameters uh, important parameters in publish component okay so what is the task of the um, publish component before we go into the different uh, configuration parameter we will talk about uh, what is the work of uh, publish component basically so publish component has to publish the file or queue or a set of files or a set of rotating files so likewise the uh, con uh, subscriber consuming the data from the file or a queue or a set of files uh, then uh, the respective publish component you know it has to publish the queue or publish the file or publish the set of files or you know so so the queue is uh, we, the queue which we create so we are talking about uh, ab initio publish actually uh, so this will work on ab initio queue and native uh, queue right and also the set of files so um, we create the queue using mq commands and uh, that queue we can specify while publishing the data to the queue right okay and also uh, whenever it has you know processed uh, all the record for a particular uh, generation or a particular uh, checkpoint or a particular unit of work it has to commit the commit that uh, you know data to the disk or data to the queue and it also has to instruct the subscribe component that i have done uh, my job i mean the the finish of has happened and subscribe component has to initiate the uh, next set of uh, next unit of work and if if many subscriber are placed in a continuous graph and they are consuming the uh, you know records which are uh, you know generated by subscribe component so all the publish component has to uh, indicate to the subscribe component for their respective uh, closing of the checkpoint so if all 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 uh, publish component does their jobs respective job then only the next set of work has should start or next checkpoint should start okay and also um, uh, publish component has a output port so optional it's optional so also it can write data to the disk separately optionally uh, if, if we if we uh, connect that then it can write data to the disk okay otherwise uh, the data would be discarded so let's talk about starting the parameter which we are going to configure as part of publish parameter is uh, first is queue parameter the so name of the parameter is queue and there we can specify file or queue directory name so file in the event uh, case of when we are writing the data to the file you know uh, or directory name or multi directory name uh, depending upon the uh, you know if we are processing parallelly then there will be a multi directory uh, name here directory which which you know we have created as part of m underscore q command and uh, you know uh, using the m underscore q command whatever we have you know got the directory for that particular q we are going to specify over there okay and then there is a publish style parameter so this is going to be an important parameter wherein most of the functioning of the publish component component is going to happen so first is appended so appended in the case of if we are specifying in queue parameter as a file then the file is going to be appended so the appended has many different you know options files after and different options so if we specify uh, abc you know base name base name as uh, in the queue parameter so the files are going to generated as abc dot you know some uh, integer number let's say 0000001 abc dot 00002 okay so as an uh, so these these are the sequence of files are going to be generated so depending upon the get file name function right so if, if the get file name file name function is not returning a new file name then there will be a you know same file is going to append it otherwise there would be a new files are getting generated on each and every generation or each and every um, each and every checkpoint right so if you are specifying publish style as queue then uh, the queue 
obviously we are specifying in the queue parameter as a queue directory name and the data would be written to the queue okay and we can specify a log so if you are specifying log then you know the the log files would be generated so the log file would be you know log abc dot one if you are specifying lz abc as base name in the queue queue parameter then the files name would be generated lz abc dot one lz abc dot two likewise respectively would be generated and there is another param uh, another option so rotating so there will be rotating uh, files would be generated and uh, the file size and you know set of size at a time would be depending upon there are two more parameter which is called maximum log file size max log file size would indicate that how much uh, uh, a particular rotating file or a log file can grow up to the bytes right so this will indicate the size of the rotating files or a log file for a particular segment or a particular unit of work right so after after that size is reaches reaches then there would be a new uh, new file generation would be happening and uh, log set size is in uh, the number of uh, files which, which is related to the rotating uh, rotating options of the publish style and uh, this will indicate that that the, at a time how many files is are uh, you know can be retained so the rotating option is like uh, it's, it's going to write to the files and log option is also the same so uh, as as and when any files is available is going to write the data to the the same the, the file whichever is going to come in rotation okay so log set size it indicates the how many maximum file is uh, can can be active at a time so as soon as any file is going to reach into the maximum file log file size then that file will be closed and the next file is going to be generated because the minimum file can be uh, active as according to the log set size five if it is five if we specify it, the value as five then uh, at, uh, at a time five files will be there like lz abc dot one dot two dot three dot three and dot four dot five so these five files will be there and the publish uh, the the publish component uh, you know going to write to these uh, these set of files okay then there is a sync mode so for recovery mechanism we should synchronize our uh, data to the disk whenever publishing publish is going to write the data to the disk we need sync as a, you know sync mode as sync so that the recovery can happen easily okay if you do not specify sync then there 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 is a you know a, 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 there is a risk of a recovery so it may be possible that we are we may not be able to recover the things okay so then there is a parameter called uh, you know uh, create empty files so many a times what happens is uh, whenever let's say we are configuring the publish component uh, uh, the checkpoint is coming uh, between uh, you know hourly basis let's say from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock and uh, if we did not receive any record between two checkpoints then you know there is a there is a chance of uh, creating the empty files unnecessarily so if we specify that uh, don't create the empty file then component is not going to create empty files if we do not uh, it did not receive the press uh, record in between the checkpoints so this is uh, one of uh, options uh, provided in publish component then there are compressed uh, parameters so if we can write the compressed file using the publish component and uh, similarly we can uh, read the compressed data you know using the subscribe component okay so this compression is different from the unix compression actually so this is i've been sure native com compression and uh, we can decompress using the inflate component but we cannot uh, apply the unix uh, commands to decompress the data using the uh, whatever we have written uh, using the publish component you know so basically we should not use any other command while dealing with the data written by you know continuous flow graphs basically the queue related data basically but file name operation can be done and uh, there are permissions so we can give the permissions so you know the mask value right uh, 777 for all, for all the permission read write and execute for a particular file to, to the, all the groups and uh, okay owner and group and you know everyone so 
so if we specify digit as 333 or a, uh, sorry 4777 uh, then all the permission would be applied to the particular file which is going to be written by publish component okay so then uh, there are other parameters which are called log log parameters like uh, you know log output log input and uh, the ramp and limit parameter reject threshold parameter which are uh, you know which are available uh, you know which are available in batch graphs component right so similarly we have these parameters also so log checkpoint and log compute point is also there so if we specify log checkpoint and log compute point so each and every checkpoint happens then the respective num uh, you know log uh, record would be generated so we can uh, do many more operations uh, on logs as well we can uh, derive the insight uh, from from the log basically so with that uh, yeah we have come to the end of the explanation regarding how we are going to configure the published component as part of continuous flow graph okay thank you so much